So I guess this is our first crevice, huh? Looks like a big fall down. <laughs> And look out over there. Oh, is there a bigger crevice over there? Yeah. The great divide for people like you. The great divide for people like me, huh? Yeah. City folks that want to get out in the backwoods. tried to give you your first rock climb. I mean, it's only four foot and you went around it. I climbed the rocks. Like you walked up the side. You didn't climb up the rocks. Ah, here's a, I guess this would be another crevice. That looks like if one wanted to, they could walk down into that one. Look at that. Oh, path coming in here down there. Yeah, there's a, you could walk down that way too. Yeah. Pretty cool. All right, let's keep hiking. That's pretty neat. Do you call it hiking if it's a <laughs> carved out uh, path? Well, we got in this hole. Where did we? Did we come in through this this place here? You're already lost. Yes, yeah, because I went up there. Here. So, well, either one of these crevices will do it. Looks like a lot of water could rush through here. Let's go somewhere. Yeah. There we go. We're going to be back on the path again here in a moment. We came from that way. Now we're going to continue this way. Boy, it smells like a mushroom. Looks like a mushroom. I don't think I would put that in my salad, though. Although it sure would be a pretty salad. <laughs> and Daddy J tells me this is a poisonous mushroom. Got your water. It's important to stay hydrated. <laughs> Keeps you trimming to me. <laughs> I should have took a picture. That would have been a great picture, and I missed it. <laughs> picture of what? You. Hey, you can get a pose off me. I don't know how to do that. Yeah, you got time to learn. Yeah, I got another 50 years. This is a nice little easy trail. 
although there is some inclines. I don't think I'd want to climb that. No, it's not washed out from oil. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you, don't go up it because it's unstable because of the pass. Yeah. That would be a little harsh on my hip today. In fact, this looks a little steep, but I don't think it's too bad. I think I'll be okay. I need to get one of those um, head cameras. That way I can just strap it to my head and... <laughs> See where yeah. I've been? Yeah. <laughs> hey, look where I've been, folks. <laughs> it's an eye bend in the other. I've been there. Don't blame me, watch me walk away. <laughs> yeah, this is a little steep. I think I'm going to have to stop and eat, though. I'm getting a little shaky. The first cave. Oh, and it's closed. Of course. Has a gate. All caves are closed here at Devil's Den. Whew. It's because of that lichen stuff that's killing the bats. The mold, white nosed mold. Yeah, that's what I heard it's called. It looks like rock lichen to me. Probably some bacteria from a pesticide. I don't know, but I'm going to have to stop, test my sugar, and I might have to eat. Give a place to sit. Just don't lean yeah. back too far. Oh, look here. Here's a nice place to sit. Oh, dangle your feet off. Look at the view there. Isn't that gorgeous? And imagine this. And then look at the rocks to go down. <laughs> off the movie Lonesome Dove, the sheriff out of Fort Smith that had to go north. Yes. To come through all this. Oh, yeah. To get up to Nebraska. Yes. He probably come right through here, didn't he? Maybe. Or around it, anyway. Yeah, be went right directly north. Right. Well, let's go look at the trouble. <laughs> We were looking at the crevice, and it gets pretty deep down there. It gets pretty deep. All right, well, I've had my orange, <laughs> and my sugar wasn't too bad. It was only 93, so. That's not part of the Mark Trail. You no? Know? I don't know. I think we're supposed to go down the rocks. All right. That's the way they're going, too. I think we're supposed to walk down the rocks. There's a look down the crevice. And... This is where water has... Hey, we can walk between these. Yay. Look at that. Got to stoop below the tree. And hold on to the camera. Oh, oh there's a spider. Ah. Yeah. Oh, thank you viewers for moving the spider for me. <laughs> there, we'll come down to this point. There. Now you can get a good look. There we go. We're standing right here on this corner here. All right. There's That's a little scary. Those crevices, kind of shadowed, hard to see. Look at that. Oh, deep, deep crevice. There we go. And then there's a cave. It looks like a cave down there. 
Well, nature is just f fabulous, isn't it? All these crevices are made from a rock wall. Yeah, a rock wall. Uh, this th was all created from the water running through and cutting through the rock. We are actually walking on the side of a bluff. <laughs> Here's the path and then there's the bluff going down. Pretty amazing stuff up here. We saw a deer back at uh, the trailhead. She just sat there and watched us walk by. <laughs> she stood there for a while. Oh, here's some more crevices and more caves. Oh man, this must be the ice box. Oh, just stand right here. Feel the cold air that's coming up around your legs and ankles right here. You feel that cool air? Not right now, but... Really? Wow. Oh, the gust of... I felt the breeze. I thought the gust of it, but it's better right there. It was cool. Let's walk down here and see what it is down here. Walk down these little wet... Oh, yeah, right there. Ten degree drop, I swear. I don't know how far down we can go, but... Oh, here you go. This is like air conditioning. You can Boy. put your steak in here and keep it good for a week. This is a big uh, rock formation. And Look at that. Okay. I think we can go up this way, I think. Well, we've made it to what they call the Twin Falls, and we see the first waterfall right there. Of course, it's, you know, a stream, but there's the first one. And there's a lot of little ones. I can see that the little ones are all around. Oh, the bigger waterfalls over there. Let's see if I can walk around that far. Let's see. Yes, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, so beautiful. Oh, we could walk right into that waterfall if we wanted to. Look at that. Let's go stand behind it. Here, you stand behind it and look. There we go, we're behind the waterfall. <laughs> How fun is that? Here's the other one. And it comes all the way from the side of that, all the way down. Yes. Oh, I want a drink. 
<laughs> oh, I have water bottles. I'll drink my water, but I'm tempted to. I'm tempted to stand in it. Let's go. Let's go step in it. Maybe try to keep the uh, phone dry. Oh, that's cold. Ooh. Oh, we have another waterfall up here. Look at this. Now, isn't that beautiful? And look at this beautiful brook. Isn't that lovely? You know, there's uh, over on the entry part of this, there's a lot of broccolines, and there's some over here too. Uh, do you want to build a Karin? Or a Karan? Or what do you call those things? I know it's not a carrot. I thought they called it a carrot, but I think it's a Karen. I think, oh boy, that breeze is nice on my uh, waterfall wet head. Beautiful, beautiful. Here we go. There's the nice big one. And there's some. Oh, there's more up here near the water. There's some that's fallen over. Oh, there's a nice one. I like this one. That one's sensible. Start big and work to small. It's sensible and reasonable, rational. Now, here's an artsy one, though. It gets real narrow, and then it gets big again. That's creative. Oh, now here's one. Look over here. How creative this one is. <laughs> These are stacked on a rounded rock. And the foundation is rounded. Look at that. Now that's creative. And here's a bunch of other ones. Oh, and this is the end of the path, huh? Yep. Let's get back up on there. Yeah, look at that. I like this one here. It's nice and big. It's kind of formal-ish, huh, isn't it? <laughs> There's a bunch of minnows up in there. Well, I think I should build one. That way I can say, hey, you remember that time when I built a Karen? Yeah, I, right over there. I should build one over there. Go we'll build one. Yes. I need to find rocks to build one with. You need to find rocks? Yeah. Aren't you standing on some? Yeah, but I want special rocks. I'm going to build a little one. I want this one on top because it's got the fossils on it. Or a, a, some kind of fossil. down before I myself in the head. Yeah, camera bag, the satchel. Well, I couldn't leave my viewers behind. They wanted to go hiking too. I know, but I'm saying put it down while you're carrying rocks. Yes, I think I'm going to lay them on the ground for a little while. Sorry, folks. Beautiful. beautiful Absolutely beautiful. Yes, it's small, but I built one. <laughs> hey, I built the Karan.
Karen. There you Karen. go. I built a Karen. Oh, I can't get that right. Made it back down to the bridge. And this is Lee Creek. And they have picnicking around here. Nice shaded picnic tables and a little pond. And we got some people out here wading. Oh, wading sounds like fun, doesn't it? <laughs> I have dry shoes in the car. Of course, we still have to walk to the car. And walking would be difficult with wet shoes. We got some swimmers, too. Oh, how sweet. Well, I guess we should walk up the hill and head back to the car, huh? We want to take the steps or go back up the way we came down? <laughs> there goes Park Ranger. Well, I came down this hill just a little fast. I bet I'd go up it a little slower. <laughs> I'll you. Get up there. Well, here we go. Devil's Den self guided trail. Trail length 1.5 miles. Man, it sure seems like we walk further than that. Maybe. Don't seem like it took much time at all, though. A lot of interesting stuff to look at. Yeah, we made a lot of stops, so that's probably why it feels so long. Of course, we're not back to the van yet. <laughs> no. God sure is good. Six months ago, I thought my hiking days were over. Oh, look this. We uh, just made it back from the trail. And we're back at the visitor center. And look at this. I love this. Uh, they have an herb garden. And see, look, they are geniuses. I never would have thought that they're using the rock to label oregano, uh, onion, and there's lemon balm and lavender, and there's some cilantro. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Green sage, or uh, garden sage is what that says. I'm sorry. Parsley, chives, there's some chives. Look at that, isn't that fabulous? I can have an herb garden like that. Oh, yes I can. Oh, and here's some more here. There's some thyme. And look at there, there's some thyme and there's some rosemary. And there's some All right, well, here we are. We're done with the hike. Now we're doing a little bit of sightseeing. And we had come up for the cafe for we were hoping to get a green salad for lunch, but the cafe is closed for remodel. And so we went ahead and come up here to the dam. And I'm actually standing on the dam right now. Uh, there's, you know, down below. That's where the water's going. And that's right after. And boy, we have some storm clouds moving in. So I think we might have finished our hike just about the right time. Let me show you the backside of the dam over here where it's all nice and quiet. And let me show you where my feet are. I'm just right on the edge of the dam. Oop, there we go. Nope, nope. All right, so 
Now we're in the stream below the dam. You had the view from the top of the dam. I thought you might want to see the view from the bottom of the dam. Huh? Uh-uh. Say that louder. Okay, tell the story. The dam was built in 1936. The civil engineers that built it made a bet on how long it takes to fill up. The head engineer did the bet. 55 hours. He lost two silver cigars, which I guess was a brand of cigars in 1934. Well, it filled up in about 24. 24 hours? Oh, wow. How nice. Well, I didn't read it. I almost took a picture of it, but I didn't read it. So there you have it, guys. A nice little story about the dam. This is... What, Devil's Den uh, Dam? In 1936, there was a diving station when they swam in the lake. Oh. There's an old postcard up there that is prepared to see the picture. Okay, look at this one. They have a lot of very fresh veggies, onions and tomatoes and all of those things. But you know what I like best about this restaurant? Up here, let me step back. They have the label telling you a serving size and how many calories it is. Almost all their food here is labeled that way. Now the dessert table over there is not okay I'm good thank you we tried the cucumber salad and it's really good and that black bean uh, salad it's onions corn and uh, red bell pop and jalapenos uh, it was very good uh, I'm gonna make some of that for daddy Jay because he liked it And then they have uh, steamed vegetables. Look at that. See, and they include the calories and stuff. They have all kinds of steam. Now, of course, they have, you know, fried chicken and stuff. And see, they even have the calories for that. So I'm really impressed with this place. I'll be back to Fort Smith and I'll eat here again for sure.